Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a humongous, huge, huge, huge drugstore haul. I don't know if I've ever done a drugstore haul this big. Well, maybe. Recently, it's like every single drugstore brand is just like pooping out products left and right. There have been so many new releases at the drugstore. I just did a video. Oh, did you see that little flab thing? I need to do arms more. Look at this, I'm a weakling. I just did a video where I reviewed all of the new Wet n Wild products and that was a video all in itself and then I realized that so many brands, so many brands of new stuff and I have bought a ton of it and I'm not gonna feel bad about it because it's for my channel, it's for review purposes, it's for you guys. I spend my money so I can tell you guys what's good and what's not. We have a system, you and I. There are a lot of things that I haven't even tried out yet. The majority of the stuff I have tried out, so I'll give you like quick little reviews. I'll run through these products as fast as I can. And then I'm sure I will update you guys on these products in future videos. Okay, I'm gonna jump into it because I mean, most of my purchases came from Ulta.com. I placed an order online. I got stuff from Ulta, but I also got stuff from Walgreens.com and I actually purchased things from the Essence website. I also bought all of the Milani stuff from the Milani website. Basically, I just went on like all the drugstore shopping sites online and I got some stuff, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Milani because they have so many new releases. So I purchased a few of their liquid lipsticks and now they're not in my box. I feel like it's Porter. I feel like any day now I'm gonna find a secret stash of all my stuff. But anyway, when those turn up, I mean, I'm sure I'll talk about them, but let's get into it. Okay, so Milani released a brand new setting spray. I got so excited when I saw this. This is the Make It Last Setting Spray Prime and Correct and Set, and it's supposed to make your makeup last for 16 hours. Now, I just used this for the first time today when I was done doing my makeup, and I think I love it. I know that sounds crazy, but I really do think I love it. It made the makeup on my face just set so nicely. It took away that powdery look. This just made my skin look so pretty. It made my makeup one with my skin. I don't know, I really like this. I don't know if it makes my makeup last any longer, but I will continue to play with this throughout the week. It does have a strong scent. I mean, I applied a lot of this. I do wanna emphasize that I applied a lot to my face. I was just spraying for a long time because this spray on this is so nice. A lot of setting sprays from the drugstore just spray like crazy and like they, they're squirty and stuff. This one has a great little mist and even though the scent kind of threw me off, I really like it so far. Let's talk about a product I didn't like so much. This is the Milani. Okay, the next few products are all from Milani. This is their face and eye strobe palette in the shade sunlight and I don't hate this but I don't really like this. There's like glittery particles in it. I mean, I applied this vanilla shade on my cheekbones yesterday and it looked pretty but I didn't, I wasn't wowed by it. Like I was wowed by something else I'm gonna show you. So it's a little average for me. I do think that this would be great as eyeshadows. I have to play with this a little more. I do think there's potential, but right off the bat, it's not my favorite new release from Milani. This, however, run, don't walk, run. You need these in your life. There's like four shades, but I picked up two of them. These are their new instant glow powders. Milani came out with the most beautiful freaking highlights ever. I love these so much. This one is a really pretty gold shade. I don't like this one as much as I like this one, but this one will be great for medium skin tones. It's in the shade Day Glow. It's a really pretty subtle gold. I will say that these highlights are much better applied to the face. When you swatch them, they look like nothing special, but on the face, it's like a whole nother ball game. And this one is my favorite. This one is in the shade Afterglow, and it is a beautiful pink iridescence. This is the highlight I'm wearing on my face right now. It is so stroby and highlighty. I'm actually wearing a cream highlight underneath, but I didn't apply too much of that cream highlight. It is so beautiful. It's not chunky, and it actually shows up on the skin like. It reminds me so much of a high-end highlighter. These are definitely worth checking out. The next products I wanna talk about, I'm kind of on the fence about. I don't know if I like these or if I hate these. These are the Contour Highlight Cream and Liquid Duos. I have two shades. I got one Fair Slash Light and I got two Light Slash Natural. They're contour sticks. They look like this. They're like little bullets that you just like twist up and paint them on your face. And then on the other side is where you have the liquid highlight. So it comes out like this and you just apply it to your face like that. Now, I haven't played around with these to give you guys a definite answer, but the one time that I did use it, I used Fairlight. It was a little bit hard to blend. Like, I drew it on my cheeks, and when I tried to blend it out, it kind of lifted my foundation that was underneath. I noticed that things started to look splotchy, and it just didn't blend well into my skin. Now, it could have been the foundation I was using. I don't know what the deal is. I do have to play around with it a little bit more to give you my final thoughts, but so far, I don't really like this. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like it, to be honest. And the Liquid Illuminator is really, really pretty. I haven't applied it to my cheeks yet. I have to play around with 
these a little bit more, but so far it's like eh. Milani came out with a new concealer that I think I really, really like. I haven't opened this one yet, but this is their Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I have been using the shade Fair, and I think that that's exactly what it is. It's a light lifting concealer. I have it underneath my eyes today, and I don't know if it's just this shade. It did such a beautiful job of highlighting the face. Really pretty. It doesn't have full coverage. I guess I'm so used to the shape tape that I forget that not every concealer is extreme coverage. I didn't cover my dark circles completely, but I feel like it covered enough and it just looked so fresh underneath the eyes. I also like the fact that the cap, it has like this spongy thing at the end. I don't know how hygienic that is, but I like the fact that the cap goes right into the little hole right here. There's like a little stick in the cap. I'm not making sense, but I like the fact that it has that little stick going into the hole. That means that there's not going to be any spillage of the product. Like it's not going to goop out and get everywhere. Anyway, I really, really, really like this. Next up is the Milani Prime Light Face Priming Strobing and Pore Minimizing Primer. It's oil free and I really like this as well. I've only used it one time, but I feel like it made my skin look nice and dewy and for an illuminating primer at the drugstore, I think it's really good. It has a very natural sheen to it and it doesn't look overly dewy. I don't think it minimizes my pores. I don't know why it says that. And I found that my foundation went well on top, like there was no weird stuff. It was good, good primer. Milani also came out with this like system here. It was on display at Walgreens. Okay, this I actually got in store. This is like a whole little system. This first one is a little tube that says, keep it clean, long wear lip color remover. A really good way to get your liquid lipsticks off. I love these kinds of products. I haven't tried it yet, but it feels like a lip balm, like a little Vaseline. Removes long wear and matte lip color, hydrating and soothing, gentle yet effective. It has grapeseed oil and conditioners, so can't wait to try that out. And then they came out with a sugar lip scrub and a sugar lip treatment. So this is just a little sugar. Ooh, it sm that smells phenomenal. Oh my gosh, that smells exquisite. Very delicious. I haven't tested this out, but you know, I feel like I might like it. It has a little bit of like an oily texture mixed in with the sugar. The scent is amazing though. Like I would repurchase it without even trying it because the scent is so good. And then the last thing is the lip treatment, which is what I'm most excited for. I love wearing lip treatments right before bed and hopefully this one smells just as good. And it does. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. It feels really thin, like it doesn't feel like it's a very thick moisturizer, but can't wait to try that. My fingers smell so good. Okay, anyway, so the last Milani product I got is a powder. This is the Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. They have one that looks just like this in the same packaging, but it's not an illuminating one. It's like a mattifying version. This is what I used today to set my entire face, and I really, really like this. Yesterday when I tried it, I hated it because I used it to set my under eye concealer. I thought maybe it would be like the perfect like illuminating under eye powder, but no, no, no. I do not like this to set my under eyes at all. It made my under eyes look really crepey and wrinkly and not, not good. But when I went to set my face today, thinking it was gonna be horrible and powdery and cakey, no, I love it. I think it's beautiful to set the face. It kind of gave my face a very soft glow, like very minimal, but I thought it actually looked really pretty. And then this in combo with this, it just, it, look, it looks good. How am I doing on time? Okay, next brand. Let's talk Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula has the bulkiest packaging. Okay, so I have two new blushes. When these released, I got so many tweets from you guys asking me if I thought they were good or if I knew that these were out. And I nearly crapped my pants when I saw that these were available. These are the new butter blushes. Now, if you watch my channel, you know. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is my favorite drugstore bronzer. And when they released butter blushes, I knew I had to get them. These are so lovely light and I purchased both of them. They only have two shades. These would never be dark enough for anyone that's deeper than a medium skin tone, if that. Maybe this one would work for like medium skin tones. These are so light. Physicians formula me la tiene pela. They need to start coming out with shades that reach a bigger variety. I feel like if you have a deeper skin tone, there's not much from Physicians Formula that you can try out. Like, look how light these blushes are. But anyways, if you have medium to light skin tones, I think you would really like these. I personally love these. I'm wearing this color on my cheeks right now. I'm not sure if you can tell, they are very soft blushes. They don't give like crazy color payoff, but they're so smooth, they're so creamy. They're just like the butter bronzer. This is the shade Plum Rose. It's a really pretty dusty pinky purple mauve shade. <laughs> they blend like butter. Get it? They butter blushes. And then this one is the one I wore yesterday and I love it. This one is called Natural Glow and that's exactly what it is. This is a beautiful blush topper. Like if you're already wearing a blush and you want it to have like a beautiful peachy natural glow, you just put this on top and it gives your blush like some life. The packaging is a little bit bulky but it's so cute and it does, it does smell like 
a tropical paradise. This is the highlight and contour palette. Now they have two different ones. They have a completely matte one and then they have like a shimmery one. I don't, okay, I don't know how I feel about these. I don't like the packaging. It's so bulky. But I actually do really like the product inside. I used this matte creamy shade to set my lids and then I used the contour color right here it's super ashy it's very gray I used very little of it I used my physician's formula butter bronzer to bronze my skin but then I used a little bit of this you have to have a very light hand with this because if not it will look muddy it will be too much I went to use this one yesterday and wow I used way too much had to take my makeup off and the same goes for this one. These are so pigmented. I used this red shade as an eyeshadow yesterday and it was stunning. So as eyeshadows, they're really good. But for the face, I don't know if I love it. This white shade right here is so intense. Use as little product as you can. Tap off your brush like a hundred times and then apply it to your face because it could be too much too fast. Trust. And then I picked up these guys. They're not new. I've never seen this one before, so I don't know if this one's new. Probably not. But even if they're not new, I wanted to share them with you because I think they're really good and I just bought them. These are the Physicians Formula Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadows. This one is Classic Nudes and this one is Quartz Quartet. I'm wearing the Classic Nudes all over my eyes today. This light shade is so pigmented. It's perfect to highlight your brow bone. All of these are really pigmented. So creamy, so good, so easy to blend. And I used Quartz Quartet yesterday and the same goes with this. These are more cool tone shadows. So I mainly use like the two more natural shades, but I actually use this dark gray color in the outer corners, just a very little right here today. And I love them. Okay, next brand. So I picked up a foundation from Essence that I was so excited to try. I am so torn, I'm so conflicted whether or not I like this. This, this is the Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish Foundation. It says it has a no makeup feel and I totally agree. I'm wearing this on my face right now. I love everything about this except it oxidizes so badly. So I bought the shade Pure Sand and I just want to swatch it for you to show you how it oxidizes. So when I first blended it out on my face, I was like, oh my gosh, this color is perfect for me. I love it. This is the color right there. I'm going to leave that swatched on the back of my hand so you can see in a little while how orange it turns. So I wore it today for the first time and as I continued on my makeup, I noticed that my face just started getting darker and darker and then I had to really bronze up my neck. Once I applied this on top, it totally toned down the color situation that was happening. So maybe from now on I just have to set it right away. I'm not sure because it leaves the most beautiful finish on the face. Like I'm looking at my skin and I love how it looks. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation at all. You don't see the makeup on my face. It was extremely affordable, but it just oxidizes and I don't know, it's throwing me off. I don't wanna give up on it because it's so good. So Essence came out with new eyeshadows. I believe these are new because I've never seen them before and they're called the Velvets. They're single eyeshadows. I picked up two shades. I got You Better Mauve and Taupe Secret. These are amazing, guys. I was blown away when I first swatched these. Like, I just wanna show you it on my finger. Like, look at that, look at that. They feel so creamy when you put your finger in. They have the most velvet formula in the world. I guess that's why they're called the velvets. After I tried these, I need all of them. Like, I, I want all of them. I'm gonna go purchase the rest of them. And then I picked up three lipsticks. I'm pretty sure these are new. They're called their matte, matte, matte lipsticks. Yes, matte, matte, matte. I love the packaging. I love this, like, frosted when it shows you the color of the lipstick. I really like these lipsticks. They have a beautiful matte finish, but they don't feel drying at all. I got this really pretty everyday nude one. It's called Natural. Kiss. This amazing, amazing matte deep berry shade. This one is stunning and this one's called Purple Power. And then this last one is a really pretty trendy mauve lip. You know, you know these colors. I have like a hundred of these. This one is called Perfect Match. I'm actually going to be doing, I mean, it's going to take me a while to do my research, but I'm going to be doing a full drugstore dupes for high-end lipsticks or high-end liquid lipsticks or high-end lip liners. I'm going to do like a whole lip dupe video. So I'm sure these dupe something out there, you know? Okay, so NYX recently released a bunch of new stuff as well, and I purchased most of this off of the NYX website. Some of it I got at Ulta as well. I don't know if you guys care where I got this stuff, but I always feel like I should tell you. So NYX released their own version of a beauty sponge, and this is what it looks like. I actually have never tried this before. Oh, it has a little dip in here. I had no idea. This looks exactly like my sponge from the brand Pure. Let me wet it because I will tell you if it's good. Okay, so this is the sponge wet. It totally doubled in size, which is a good sign. I wish I would have used it today. I don't know why I didn't, but it feels like it's going to be really good. I actually have high hopes for this because it feels very nice. Hopefully it doesn't suck up too much product or is hopefully it's not too stiff. <gasps> Look, do you see what I mean? Look at this. It has like a spot right there that hasn't dried yet, but it's like 10 shades darker than it was. Seriously, Essence, why did you do that to me? Look at this. So I haven't tried this out because I got totally the wrong color, but they came out with Total Control Drop Foundation. I couldn't try it because literally I got 
Look at this color. This is the color of mustard. When did I ever think that that was gonna fit me? This is the shade beige. Ain't nothing beige about that. Next released, liquid highlights. These are so reflective and so beautiful. They're stunning. They're very, very highlighty. They're really easy to blend like on the back of your hand, but I haven't tried these on my face yet. So I'm not sure if they sit well on top of foundation or anything like that, but I will definitely be trying these out and letting you guys know. I got this white shade. This one is called Moon Glow. This gold one is called Crystal Glare. And this pinky peachy one is called Moonbeam. And I'm so excited to try those out. Okay, so I am really impressed with these new products from NYX. These are their faux whites and faux black eyeliners. They have a bunch in this faux white line where they're all like really creamy and pastel. I have a green one and a pink one. This one in honeydew and this one in linen. Really pretty shades and then I got two of their faux blacks just to try out but I, I want to go back on the website and buy all of them. This one is like a deep blue and it's called onyx and then this one is a red. I'm actually wearing this one on my waterline today. It's called oxblood. These are amazing. I'm not sure what these claim to do, but they last so long on the waterline and they glide. They're creamy, buttery, so pigmented. I'm actually wearing, I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm actually wearing Oxblood as a lip liner today with a lipstick on top. I'll talk about the lipstick in a second, but I love these. They're so, so good. So they came out with new lipsticks and I bought two from the line. They're called the Pin Up Pow Lipsticks. And I got this shade right here in silk. I love that it has, they remind me a lot of the NYX round lipsticks. They have like very similar packaging, but I don't think they make those anymore. Anyway, this one in silk is a really pretty peachy nude, you know. <laughs> I have a hundred like these, but whatever. And then this one I got, I'm actually wearing this one on my lips right now and it's called Resistance and I love this color. I only put the eyeliner on the outer corners and then I filled in my entire lips with this. It's such a beautiful berry shade. I love it so much. I mean, it transfers a little bit, but it stays nice and matte on the lips. The last NYX product I have to talk about is one of their new duochrome illuminating powders. They came out with duochrome highlights, which I feel is like all the rage now. So I got this shade. It's like a white shade, but it reflects a really pretty pink color. I haven't tried this on my cheeks yet, but I don't know. They feel a little stiff for me. Highlights are one of those things that you need to put on your face in order to tell. So I have to try it on my face. This is in the shade Snow Rose, by the way. Okay, so let's move on to Jordana. I only got a couple of products from Jordana. This is the Prime No Pores Pore Perfecting Face Primer. I think I really like this. I used this today underneath my foundation and I feel like it just gave me a really nice canvas. I did not see any minimizing of my pores though. It doesn't have that silicone texture that most pore minimizing primers do. It feels more like a moisturizer, but like a very, very light moisturizer. Nothing too hydrating, so I feel like maybe even if you have oily skin, you might like this. Because when I applied it to my face, after a few minutes, it sank right into my skin and it left my skin feeling soft, but it didn't feel like dewy or luminous. I have to play around with it a little bit more, but so far, so good. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Jordana also came out with... Uh, these guys right here. This is the Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick and then this one is the Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. I got two shades in each. I got two of the lightest glowing ones. This one is called Pearl Glow 01. It's better for fair skin and then this one is Radiant Glow 02. Better for those of you with like light to medium skin. Unfortunately, I have not tried these on my face. Same goes with the contour sticks. I was supposed to use them today so I can give you my thoughts on them, but I completely forgot. I got 01 light and 02 medium. The light shade looks like it's gonna be a really good color for me. The only thing is that when I'm blending it out on my hand, I'm just afraid it's gonna be patchy on the skin because it doesn't blend out the best on my hand. But again, I have tried these on my face. I might use the products I haven't used yet, like in a chatty get ready sometime in the near future. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done now we have fallen into the miscellaneous pile random random brands so Revlon just released these guys right here these are the ultra HD lipsticks I think they're brand new why does that name sound so familiar these are really good but I don't think they're mind-blowing they feel really moisturizing I got this one this one's like they're nude it's called sand this one that's a little bit nude but a little bit more on the brown side <clears throat> this one is called desert and then this beautiful this is my favorite one out of all of them it's such an intense berry shade this one is called vineyard really good really pigmented they do slip and slide a little bit because they're so creamy so you might want to use a lip liner and then i picked this up because i've heard like three people rave about this eyeliner already this is the l'oreal voluminous liner noir liquid eyeliner i got the shade rich black and i'm actually wearing this on my eyes today because i accidentally bought two online so this is my backup i really like this it's 
pretty black, but it's nice and matte and it applied really nicely. I prefer a brush tip. This one is a felt tip liner. I like that it's long so it's easy to use. I didn't struggle with this at all. I think it is pretty easy to use. You might really like this. I think it is one of the better ones at the drugstore. Wet n Wild released a mega cushion illuminator and a mega cushion contour. They were all sold out of the cushion contour at Walgreens. They only had one more of the illuminators and I couldn't find this on the Wet n Wild website. What's up with that? I don't understand that. Is this like exclusive to Walgreens? I'm not sure. But anyway, it is a stunning glowing highlight. It looks really pink. When you look at it, you're like, oh, that's pink. But it's not. It's not. It gives you a really beautiful pearly look to the face. I actually have this product underneath the Milani highlight. And before I highlighted with the Milani, I just applied very little. And it gave my skin such a beautiful, fresh look. I can't wait to play around with this more because I feel like I'm really going to fall in love with it. Okay, more lip products. L'Oreal released Infallible Paints. I thought they were going to be exactly like the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. They're in very similar packaging, but I was pleasantly surprised when I opened this. This is not a squeezy tube, this has a wand. How amazing is that? I was so impressed by the packaging. I got two shades, Nude Star. This one's my favorite. It's such a beautiful, deep, rosy nude. And then I got Topless, which is a really pretty cool tone, grayish, purpley mauve color. These are very, very pigmented and they still remind me of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I have to be honest, L'Oreal rarely impresses me, but these look promising. I've only really worn this one for just a couple of hours and then I took it off because I went to do something else, I don't know. But I have to test these out further. And usually, L'Oreal products smell like disgusting chemicals, but this doesn't smell too bad. I mean, this, the L'Oreal scent is there, but it's very faint as opposed to their other lip products, so. Okay, and then the last product in this haul is this bad boy right here. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter. This is in the shade 100 Light, and this stuff is intense. This is a liquid highlight, but it is very, very intense. Like, blinding intense. I cannot wait to use this. I haven't used it yet. But it looks really beautiful swatched. It feels very creamy. I picked this up because I heard Nikki Tutorials rave about it in a favorites video, so I had to go out and buy it, and I cannot wait to try this. Okay, guys, so that completes this video. Oh my gosh, it was like a million years long. Hopefully, I went fast enough. These were products I just recently purchased online. I cannot wait to play around with these products even more. I love testing out affordable makeup just as much as I love testing out high-end makeup. It's like I, all makeup. I love all makeup. So yes, let me know down below if I missed anything. If there's a new drugstore product you want me to try out and leave it below. I'll go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Because I found that a lot of new essence, because I found that I would, because I found that not everything, what did I find? I'm like not even making sense. Don't tell Starbucks. <laughs> and it's supposed to make your makeup lax, lax. I need to calm down.